Hey guys, it's your girl Goldie Locks, and today we're going to do something with this hair because it's looking tragic. So I got two packs of the locks and then I got some rubber bands and I'm moving really fast. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off in kind of like a windows formation. And while you guys watch me do that, I'm going to explain the products that I got. So I got two packs of the 613 soft locks and those are 20 inches that you guys seen. And basically what I was planning on doing because I have 98 locks so I figured I was going to be able to split them up between each section of hair if that makes sense so I didn't have to overspend and all in all with the rubber bands I spent about $25. I didn't want this tutorial to be way too long so what I did was I went ahead and did my whole head but I did want to show you guys how I sectioned everything off and then I'm going to show you guys how I did the first one. So this is the sectioning and this is what it looks like with all of them done but I'm going to show you guys how I do them by using the last one on my head. So what I do is I grab a few of the locks and I put them under the rubber band that I have tied with my hair and then I just double it to secure the locks to my locks. The next thing that I do is I kind of just place them in a way where it's kind of mixed in with my hair and then I split it into two pieces and I go ahead and twist all of the hair together. I try to do this as tight as I can so that my locks are not poking out of the fake locks and with this being a two-toned look, it's kind of very important that I don't have too much of one color in one place, especially on the top. Once I get to the end where I go past my locks, I just start wrapping it and twisting it around itself. If you guys watch my face, it's because I did these very, 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 very tight and it was starting to hurt a little bit. But I just go ahead and I went around it and tried to place it as well as I could. And if you have like black locks or like solid color locks with the locks um, that you purchase match, this would look way better. But I think that the two-toned look kind of added a little bit of spice to this. Um, to secure it, all I did was I grabbed one of the rubber bands and I put it at the base of the Bantu knot. And I just secured it. Anything that was loose, I just went ahead and tucked it underneath of the Bantu knot to secure everything under it. And that's basically it, you guys. This is the final look, but I had to go ahead and put on my makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys afterwards. I love you guys. Bye. Okay, y'all. So I am back and this is the finished result of the hairstyle. Um, a couple little tips that I have for you guys. If you guys are doing this, since this was my first time doing this hairstyle, don't do it too tight because my head is killing me right now. And whew, I'm going to try to hang in there for a little bit. My head is killing me, y'all. But it's super duper cute. I really really like it and it's just really really different um I personally would not wear this every single day but I think that it's a really nice look and if you guys have the locks to achieve this look and, and not be as big then I would definitely go ahead and do it I'm probably gonna do this once my locks get longer but anyways that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below for more videos and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Oh